Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's been a while since I've done a Stratomatic computer game. And in recognition of the fact that the new computer game will be out in about uh, two and a half weeks, um, I am going to play a game. And today I thought I, you know, I was digging through... Um, Let's see, we don't, actually, we don't want that. So, uh, all right. So uh, I was digging through and I was trying to determine um, what would be a good matchup for us to have. And um, I came up with the 1968 St. Louis Cardinals taking on the 2007 Philadelphia Phillies. And uh, the uh, matchup today will be Nelson Bryles on the mound for the Cardinals and um, uh, and the uh, Phillies. I will be controlling the homestanding Phillies. Now, if you know my rec record in these types of games, you know I almost always lose these one-off games on the computer. And so I have no expectation that I'm going to win this game, but we'll see. Maybe you know, maybe I surprise everybody. But um, we will see how that goes. Uh, the uh, Cardinals of 1968 won 97 games. And the Phillies of 2007 won 89 games. So it's still, I mean, it's certainly within their reach to win this game. So uh, with that having been said, let's go over the lineups for the Cardinals. You have Lou Brock in left field, Julian Javier at second base, Kurt Flood in center, Orlando Cepeda at first, Tim McCarver, uh, former announcer as well, uh, at catcher, um, Shannon at uh, third base, uh, Davis in right field, and uh, and Max Maxville at shortstop with Nelson Bryles on the mound, and then for the Phillies you have Jimmy Rollins at short, Shane Victorino in right, Chase Utley at second, Ryan Howard at first, Aaron Rowand former White Sox in center field, uh, Pat Burrell in left, loved Pat Burrell. Greg Dobbs at third base. Now, I really did love Greg Dobbs. Everybody that's watching this knows that, that knows me. Um, Carlos, is it Carlos Ruiz? Well, anyway, Ruiz, a catcher, and um, Cole Hamill at uh, pitcher, pitching. So let's get on with the game. Citizen Bank Park, beautiful Citizen Bank Park. Got Cole Hamels' big face right there, and let me move myself over. And then, uh, yeah, he's facing Lou Brock. Yeah, it's been a while. Been a while since I played a Stratomatic computer game. Loving it. And he goes down, and Javier is up. Javier, Javier. I don't know how you pronounce that. Righty on lefty, and he goes down, and then you got Kurt Flood. The man who was um, at least partially responsible for starting the whole free agency thing. Oh, ha wait, Javier got on. Oh, okay. Um, and, um, yeah, so you can partially thank him for the high salaries today. Maybe not. I mean, maybe that's an exaggeration because every other sport also has free agency and every other sport costs an arm see um orlando cepeda what are these guys got six outs i mean what's going on here i would have thought we were already out of the out of the inning and uh no that's a wild pitch or something so it moves javier to second and that's going to be a, a fly ball to rowan he should handle it and that should be the last out and it is and now we got jimmy rollins going up against nelson Bryles. And if you did not see it, I had 
a back to basics game with the 1966 twins and that's going to be a double in the gap shopping at the gap for rollins with shane victorino i had a back to basics game where i played the 66 twins against the 77 uh, Texas Rangers and Nelson Bryles made an appearance for the 77 Rangers in that game. You might want to go check that out. Uh, 66 Twins against 77 Rangers, giving it a plug. Um, and now we've got Chase Utley. We already scored a run, and so maybe this is an omen of good luck for me. Chase Utley up with Victorino at first base, no outs, and we're all over Nelson Bryles early. That looks like it's going to be a pop-out, though, to Javier. And um, that brings up Ryan Howard, big Ryan Howard. And he looks like he got a he got an infield base hit, and that brings up my man, Rowan. And there he is in his White Sox hat. You know, I had to get that picture. That had to be the picture I used. And uh, he may be out. And he is on a double play. So we only get one, and now Tim McCarver steps up, and uh, he's going against Cole Hamels. Um, one of my favorite stories was uh, Tim McCarver one time. Mike Shannon is up after Tim McCarver's out. Tim McCarver went out to the mound after uh, Bob Gibson was getting into a little bit of hot water in a game that he was pitching. And as McCarver went out to the mound, uh, Bob Gibson told him to get back behind the plate because the only thing he knows about pitching is that it's hard to hit. That's one of my favorite baseball stories. So you've got uh, Ron Davis. Looks like flying out to Rowan. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, now Dal Maxville is up with Shannon at first and two down here in the top of the second for the Cardinals. And that's a strikeout with Wiffelon. And now we're back up with Pat Burrell against Nelson Bryles. A one nothing lead for the Phillies here. And Pat Burrell might have gone out of the park, did he? And it is a home run for Pat Burrell. And now we have a 2 nothing lead. We've scored in every inning so far, although there's only been two innings. Greg Dobbs, here he is, my main man, Greg Dobbs. And Greg Dobbs is going to be safe on an infield single. And that brings up, yes, Carlos Ruiz. I was right about his name. I'm glad my memory isn't quite that shot. Um, he moves um, Dobbs to second with a fielder's choice, and now Hamels is up. He, But if Hamels gets out, he's only the second out. Okay, he did get out, though. And that brings up Jimmy Rollins, who was on the Hall of Fame ballot this uh, past voting cycle for the first time. I, I'm i not sure if he got enough votes to stay on the ballot. Um, I know a lot of guys said that they were going to vote for him, um, ju not necessarily because they thought he is definitely a Hall of Famer, but because they wanted to keep his, his name on the ballot so that they could keep talking about it and um, decide. And there you got Lou Brock. I did not mention this this first time up, but you got Lou Brock in his Cubs uniform, which he only spent not very, not very long on the Cubs. So with Bryles at second, who somehow got on, with and one out, you got Javier up. And we'll see what Javier can do. We'll see what Javier can do. And, you know, one thing I like about the computer games is the computer games don't make mistakes. Um, and that drives in a run for the Cardinals, and now we're down 2-1. But in my card and dice games, my back to basics, I mean, I don't make a lot of mis I don't make too many mistakes anymore with the Stratomatic baseball, but I do tend to make some mistakes with the games that I'm less familiar with, like Status Pro and Back to Basics. So um, it's refreshing to play the computer game because the computer game, you know, a guy gets what he gets and the computer says what he gets. And that's what happens. And the number of runs that's driven in and Victorino may have gone deep. And did we score? Yes, we did score. We've scored in every inning. Of course, now it's, 
three innings. So it's becoming um, it's becoming a thing now. And Utley is up, and Nelson Bryle has got to be a little worried. He's down three to one, and I think Utley just went downtown. I think the Phillies. I don't know. I think the Phillies are going to deliver me a rare win in these one-off games. You got Ryan Howard up. Um, four to one lead now for us. You I, you got to wonder when Bryles is going to be replaced. That is one out though. And Rowan is up. Because I'm wondering. And Rowan maybe a shallow fly that they can't get to and they can't. And so he's got a single and Pat Burrell who's one for one with a jack today to his credit, and that may be a twin killing, and it is. But we did score two on two home runs, one by Victorino, one by Utley. And we are now up four to one. Tim McCarver back up at the plate. Remember Tim McCarver? I think he was on Channel 9 New York uh, as an announcer um, for the Mets. I want to say he was. Um, yeah, but I remember him at least working with that team, certainly when I was growing up in upstate New York. Uh, Mike Shannon up with McCarver at first base with no outs. And that's going to be a slow roller between second and first. And it's going to be an infield hit. And Ron Davis is up. Ron Davis with two aboard and only zero outs, which is, you know, only for them and only for us. Not good. But. Is that? Nope, that was a fielder's choice. So runners are now at the corners with one down and Dale Maxville. So in the computer games, all I got to worry about is being wrong about something about a player that I say. So I try not to say things that might not be true, like that the Cardinals just scored another run and cut the deficit in half to 4-2. They're only down by two. And that's going to be a ground ball by Bryles, and that is it. But the uh, Cardinals are hanging in this game, and now my man Dobbs is up. Um, and look at Dobbs. No, no, me, probably not. He does make the grab. It's an out, and Ruiz is up with one down. And he's out. I don't know why I don't have a picture of Carlos Ruiz. He's fairly recent. Um, and then Cole Hamels at the plate with two down and nobody on. And that's going to be a race to the bag, and he's safe. Hamels with an infield hit and Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins is probably going to fly out to flood. It was a 1E8, so let's not hope for too much there along the lines of a mistake by the Cardinals. We go to the top of the fifth. The Cardinals are down by two, so they're still within reachable range of giving me yet another defeat. But we'll see if my team can hold down. Um, and that's going to be a good play out there by Burrell. You don't usually see that. Burrell was not known for his fielding. In fact, he was a bad fielder. Javier is down, and that is two down with Flood at the plate here in the top of the fifth. And Kurt Flood is going to be not out yet, but let's see what happens there. You got a ground ball and he's out. Victorino, Victorino, who is two for two with a home run and looks like he may be out there and he is. Chase Utley, who has a home run today, is up. We would like a few more runs and put this thing away. McBriles is being stingy, although he did just um, walk Utley, and now Howard is up. And Howard's got a slow roller between second and first. Can he beat it out? No, he cannot. Uh, or he, no, it was a fielder's choice. Well, he beat it out because it was a fielder's choice. And now Rowand is up. And Rowan is going down the right field line. Is that going to be uh, no? It's caught by St. Louis, and that brings St. Louis up to the plate in the top of the sixth, down by two. Cepeda 
Cepeda is maybe going deep. Maybe going deep. Yes, he is. And so now it is four to three. Let's not give let's not give the sportsman that victory just yet. Um, there's a rip to right field by McCarver for a base hit and Mike Shannon up. And it looks like we're getting into the gas territory for um, for Hamels. No outs, two runners on. Hamels can't get anybody out. He does get Davis out, so finally there is an out. Maxville is up with two runners on at first and second. Now he loads the bases, but for the pitcher at least. And the pitcher tries to bunt and um, I am, let's see, what are we going to do here? I'm going to try to, let's see, runners 12, players range four. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to throw for the runner. Out! Out. Yes. So now there's two down and they're still behind by one. And that brings up Lou, sweet Lou Brock. And that is an out. And so we do get out of that inning still ahead by one because of my gutsy decision to try to get the runner at the plate on the squeeze play instead of accepting a tie. Well, I felt like once I accept a tie at this point in the game, we're not going to win. But Burrell! Just gave me a two-run lead. Yes, he did. He's got two home runs today. Pat Burrell is coming through for the sports man with Dobbs up. So now it's 5-3. He's still got Bryles out there. He's got to be, um, well, as far as pitch count and his available pitch count, he's not sucking wind. But as far as giving up five runs so far, he is. And maybe is that a base hit? Nope, it's an out, and Hamels, ah, I don't know, we're in the bottom of the seventh, or bottom of the sixth, you know what, I am going to go to the, um, I'm going to go to the pen, but I am going to right now go to uh, a pinch hitter. Now, I'm not going to a pinch hitter necessarily because, um, because I think that this is a strategic position where we can get a run. I'm going because I think I'm done with Hamels for this game. So we are going to, let's see, Bryles is a righty who's a 3R. So you definitely want a left-handed hitter. That means either Nunez or um, Bourne. And I'm going to go with Bourne. And so you've got Michael, I think it's Michael Bourne. Yeah, Michael Bourne up. And he is going to be out. And now I do have to bring in another pitcher, and we will do that. And we're going to bring in... Uh, hmm. Is Adam Eaton? Is that Adam Eaton? No, some other Eden, but anyway, and not a good one. Um, what about Geary? He's a righty who's a 7L. That would throw him off a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll put in Geary for right now until we can get to a guy that's more like a closer type, but we still got three innings till the end of the game. So uh, Jeff Geary... Gets Javier out. Kurt Flood is up with one down here in the top of the seventh. And that's going to be a fly to Victorino, hopefully in an out. And yes, it is two away with Orlando Cepeda up. And Gary is not even using his, you know, um, using up his pitches quickly. So he may be a available for the next inning, which would be great because he pitched really great right here. Um, and I'm a big believer that if a pitcher 
pitches well, and I don't like it in today's game where they take out pitchers arbitrarily. If a pitcher's pitching well, keep him in. Rollins, Rollins looks like it's going to be a deep fly. And he is out, and Victorino is up. And Victorino is going to ground out, looks like, yeah. And then Utley, who has a home run today. And Utley is going to fly out to Brock. And that's that. But we go to the top of the eighth, and I'm going to keep Geary out there because Geary has been shutting these guys down. McCarver has had a good day, though. He's two for three with a run scored. And he's going shopping at the gap over Rowan's head for what looks like it could be a – it's a triple, a triple for McCarver. How are you going to see that happen? And that looks like it was a strikeout. Yeah. And so now you got Ron Davis up. Are they going to pinch hit? No, they're not going to pinch hit. And that could be, let's see. You know what? I am going to get the sure out at first because we do have a one run lead and I can bring in my closer next. Uh, inning. So two down, Maxville up and Maxville hits it to Rowan. Gary is out of the inning, and now my man Ryan Howard is up. We'll go get a closer for the next inning. But he hits the ball between second and first, and he's got a double. Or was that an error? Let's see. No, it was, a, it was an error. It was a wild throw. So Rowan's up with Howard at second base. And that is going to be, looks like an out. And Howard stays at second. With Burrell up, who's two for three with two jacks today. Incredible. Incredible day for um, Burrell. And he's out. And now my man Dobbs. 0 for three. Not having a good day. But he's out. And now we are going to go see about getting a closer out there. Uh, even though Gary isn't at his pitch limit yet. Um, I do want to see about doing that. So, oh, wait, uh, wrong team. Go get the home team. Tom Gordon is a righty who's a 9R. Uh, let's see. He really wasn't all that great, was he? Durbin was terrible. Condry, I mean, Myers, was Myers? No, Myers was, well, yeah, he was. 69 innings, 61 hits, 433 earned run average. But still, he wasn't really what you would call a uh, closer. So I'm going to go with Tom Flash Gordon. We're going to put him in, even though, again, I, you know, Gary was pitching well, and I usually don't like to do this. And they're going to bring in Roger Maris to pinch hit against Tom Gordon. It's almost unfair. But that's going to be a pop out to Howard. So it is one down and Brock is up. I'm on the verge of getting a very rare win in a one-off game, and that's going to be a line out to Utley, and there's two down with Javier up at the plate. And the Cardinals down by a run, and they pinch hit for him with Johnny Edwards. Johnny Edwards is up against uh, smoking Tom Gordon, and that is going to be an out, and we win. The Phillies have delivered me one of those rare wins in a one-off game. Extremely rare. So you, there's the box score right there. You can take a look. Hamels went six. He allowed three earned runs. Gets the win. Geary got a hold for going two innings and allowing only one run. And Tom Flash Gordon came in and shut the door on the Cardinals. And so that will be it for me. Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.